Yeah. 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 Yeah
seems to have lost its way a bit with there being no other unlimited CC classes throughout the calendar. Two 350s go off first then, and then 500s and they're away. Ron Cornelius Lewis, Max Bankhurst in second place. And James Peters, Bob Dolman. Brian Cornelius just holding on to the lead. Max Bankhurst going around the outside of him, and uh, here comes Bob Dolman in fourth. James Peters in third. James Peters up to second. James Peters going for it here. Got the wide line, but Bob Dolman now slips through on the inside. Up a good account for a man on a 350 with those two 500s. Breathing's down his neck. Bob Dolman's got the second place now. James Porter takes that wide line again, getting up the speed. Right away from the track. Max, 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 Max,
Martin Hollingsby Park and Mr Jay Gearing bringing up the rear. Race three, race three, the 250cc solos. We had a win there for number 16, Charlie Brooks. Second place was number 10, Tim Gregg. Third place was 32, Nick Irwin. Fourth place was number 91, Russell Little. Fifth place was 82, Chris Still. Sixth place was 27, Martin Hollingsby Pert. And in seventh place was number 23, Jake Gearing. Jake Gearing. The winner's time was 1 minute 32.10 seconds. 16, 10, 32, 91, 82, 27, 23, 1 minute 32.10. 350cc solos then, Max Pankhurst in this one, he was going well earlier, as was Dave Mears and Mark Giles, with Brian Cornelius and B Coates. I can't remember B Coates' first name, I think he's going to go with Barry, unless somebody tells me different. Red Rise, Tames Fly, here we go. The 350cc solos hurdle down the first straight, Dave Mears gets the whole shot from... Mark Charles, Brian Cornelius, Max Pankhurst, and Barry Coates. Flat out up the back straight. Dave Mears has got the uh, the advantage, but Mark Charles isn't letting him get away. He's pushing hard there in second place. No, oh, Dave Mears, Mark Giles, Max Pankhurst, Brian Cornelius, Barry Coates. Nicely spread out, making it easy for us here in the commentary box. Dave Mears gets the power to the ground. Two laps to go. From Mark Giles. Next bank first. Brian Cornelius. Barry Coates. Last that flag is ready. Dave Mears taking it by storm. From Mark Giles. Max Pankhurst. Brian Cornelius. Barry Coates. Checkered flag this time. We have a winner. Dave Mears, number 19. From the Canterbury area. Mark Giles, much more local lad. In second place, then Max Pankhurst. I must admit, I don't know where Max comes from. Brian Cornelius from the Faversham district, and then Mr. Barry Coates bringing up the rear there. Official result in a moment. CC Solos and a win there for 19, Dave Mears. Second place, 26, Mark Giles. Third place, number 28, Max Pankhurst. 4th place 48 Brian Cornelius and 5th place 77 Barry Coates. The winner's time was 1 minute 30.13 seconds. 1 minute 30.13 from the top 19, 26, 28, 48, 77, 1 minute 30.13. On to the left hand side cars. Oh, in this one we've got number 1 Richard Webber, Jake Pope, 22 Will Penfold, Ricky Pay, 125 Tommy Penfold and Danny Woodbridge. 128, Martin Cuff, Colin Clark, and 93, Jay Butcher, and Mike Chittenden. Starter not happy. Somebody touching the tapes. Red flight, here we go. The left-hand side cars are go. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay get the whole shot. Michael Chitlin. The 125, Tommy Penfold and Danny Woodbridge. Now that's Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. Then Tommy, Tommy Penfold and Danny Woodbridge in fourth. So Will Penfold leading against one by the mile. Jim Butcher in second place and Martin Cuff. Then Richard Webb. And then Tommy Penfold. Down the circuit they go then and up by the paddock turn. We've got Will Penfold and Ricky Pay holding a tremendous line around that corner. Looking unbeatable in this one. Two laps to go. 93, Jim Butcher. Then 
Michael Shifter. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark making their move now on the inside. So when they sneak through, they got through on the entrance to that bend. They set their sights on Will Penfold. Will Penfold is well underway. One lap to go. Will Penfold, Ricky Pay from Martin Cuff, Colin Clark. From Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden. Then Richard Webb and Jake Pope. And then one, two, five, Tommy Penfold. And Danny Woodbridge. Last turn for the last time, and there's the checkered flag for Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Open their account for the win. With Martin Cuff and Colin Clark in second. Then Mr. Butcher and Chittenden. Then Richard Webb and Jake Pope. On the Aprilia. And then 125. Tommy Penfold. And Danny Woodbridge bringing up a rear. Official result in a moment. Race five, left-hand side cars are win for 22. Will Benfold and Ricky Pay. Second place was 128. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. Third place was 93. Mr. Jim Butcher and uh, Michael Chittenden. Then uh, fourth was 01. Richard Webb and Jake Pope. And fifth place was 125. Tommy Benfold and Danny Woodbridge. No other finishes. The winner's time. 1 minute 41.12. 1 minute 41.12. From the top, 22. 128. 93. 01. 125. 1 minute 41.12. Left hand sidecars part two, then Danny Morris and Craig Scott. Tony Penfold, Carl Bell. Uh, we've got her underway, we've got three down at the first turn and two left on the line. And it looks like it's um, race is going to continue. And uh, on we go. Let's see if we can pick it up as they come out of this corner. And I was waiting for them to stop it. <laughs> Number four. Follow the bear. Darren Morris leading. From 96, Gary Potter and William Naden. And Rob Heath and Carl Fish. On the turn they come. Aaron Morris from Wales holding on to a slender advantage from Gary Potter and William Naden. From Rob Heath and Carl Fish. 124, George Penfold. And Mr. C. Hawkins. And 25, Tom Penfold and Carl Bell. No, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. On the last lap then, Darren Morris has got it in the bag. Follow the bear up the back straight. Then the last turn for the last time. Darren Morris, and I think it's Craig Scott, takes the win from 96. Gary Potter and William Naden. One, two, four, George Benfold and Hawkins. And bringing up the rear, 25, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. Race six, left-hand sidecars, race six, left-hand sidecars, a win for number four, Darren Morris and Craig Scott. Second place, the 96, Gary Potter and William Naden. Third place, number 25, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. And in fourth place, number 124, George Benvold and C. Hawkins. Now with the finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 44.32. From the top, 4, 96, 25, 124. Now with the finishes, 1 minute 44.32. Those are the big one, chaps, in the uh, solo classes. Harlan Cook, James Peters, Jay Burnham, Martin Sturgeon, Adam Filmer, Barry Coates, A. Davis... Charlie Saunders, Warren Atkinson, and Mr. P. Hollingsby Pert.
Underway we go then with race seven. 500cc Sobos, who's going to get down there first? Martin Sturgeon makes the break. 297, A Davis in hot pursuit. Back of the Europe on the inside. It's all happening here at Fritton, didn't look at them go. Powering out of that turn, it's 297. So, Davis from 7, Harlan Cook from uh, 15, Martin Sturgeon. Alex Davis, that is leading. Alex Davis flat out going for gold here at Frittenden. Well clear of number 7, Harlan Cook in second place from uh, Martin Sturgeon and Charlie Saunders. Then James Peters. Then Warren Atkinson. And Jay Vernon, 77, Barry Coates. Last that flag for 9297, Alex Davis. Harlan Cook in second place, then 15, Martin Sturgeon. Lapping the tail ender as he goes, flying past there into the last turn. Alex Davis opens his account with a win here in the South Eastern Centre Championships at Frittenden. Second place is seven. Ignore 77. Third place is 15, followed by 25. Charlie Saunders. Then James Peters. Then Warren Atkinson. Jay Vernon. And Barry Coates. Official result in a moment. Official result of race seven, official result of race seven was a win for number 297, Alex Davis. In second place was number seven, Harlan Cook. In third place was number 15, Martin Sturgeon. In fourth place it was 25, Charlie Saunders. In fifth place, 45, James Peters. In sixth place, number 212, Warren Atkinson. In seventh place was number 62, Jay Burnham. And in eighth place was number 77, Barry Coates. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 23.35 seconds. From the top, 297. 7, 15, 25, 45, 212, 62, 77. 1 minute 23.35 seconds. Off we go then. These are the upright solos. And Lee Oakley and Bob Dolman get down to the first turn first. Bob Dolman taking a slender advantage. Lee Oakley chasing hard in second place. And they go down the back straight. Quite close together there for second, third and fourth. Anything could happen. And probably will. Bob Dolman flat out on the outside then. And he's going for it. In the lead there. From 12, Lee Oakley. From 11, Phil Kidman. Battle there for second place is hot. Here comes the man from fourth trying to make third. It's all happening here at Frittenden. Round the turn they come then, Bob Dolman. Leading by a good distance from Lee Oakley, from Phil Kinman, from Dave Mears, from Robin Pilcher, from Gordon Walker, Simon Garside and Adrian Harden. Bob Dolman on the last lap from Lee Oakley from Phil Kinman Dave Mears and Robin Pilcher and, and uh, Gordon Walker there's the winner 16 Bob Dolman two rides this afternoon two wins Phil Kinman just getting the second ahead of Lee Oakley then it's Dave Mears, then it's Robin Pilcher. Then it's Gordon Walker. Followed by number 111. I can't see in the program. Or down here a bit further. Simon Garside. And two. Adrian Hart bringing up the rear. Upright Sandos, race eight. A win there for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second place to number 11, Phil Kenman. Third place to number 12, Lee Oakley. 
Fourth place to number 19, Dave Mears. Fifth place was 174, Robin Pilcher. Sixth was 84, Gordon Walker. Seventh was 111, Simon Garside. Eighth was number two, Adrian Harden. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 30.56 seconds. Away we go again with the rest of the uprights. And this time it's Stevie Green that gets down there first. From Tim Mount in second place. Stevie Green powering out of that turn. From Tim Mount in second place. Always hot stuff of Fritton in these uprights. Round they go then. 66, Stevie Green. From 17, Tim Mount. From 7, Nigel Coates. 48, Brian Cornelius. 257, B Page. And the man on the front line is absolutely putting away from the rest of the field. Stevie Green from Suffolk. From 17, Tim Mount. Mashford and Mr Coates. Mr Cornelius. And a right ding dong battle between those last two. See the number on the bike, he's got naught on his back, so that's probably not going to help me. Round they come then, 66, Stevie Green on his last lap. One lap from victory, and almost half a lap in front. From 17, Tim Mount, then Nigel Coates, then Brian Cornelius. Then it was 147 and 257. 147 D Keys, 257 B Page. New kids on the block to me. I'll try and get their names later. 66. Stevie King takes the win. He likes these fritted tracks, does that boy? Number 17, Tim Mell comes home for second. Nigel Coates in a good third. Brian Cornelius in a fourth. Then 147, Mr. D Keys, and 257, Mr. B Page. Official result again in a moment. Official result of race 9, official result of race 9 was a win there for 66, Stevie Green. Second place to 17, Tim Mount. Third place to number 7, Nigel Coates. Fourth place to 48, Brian Cornelius. Fifth place to number 147, D Keys. And sixth place to 257, B Page. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 29.83 seconds. From the top, 66, 17, 7, 48, 147. 257, 1 minute 29.83. These are the right hand side cars. And they hurtled into the first turn. Looks like Rob Wilson that has got the, uh, the whole shot. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. From number 80, Will Offen and Sam Black. Then it's 76. Simon Beanie and. Um, 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 oh, what's his name? I know what I mean. <laughs> they come then. <laughs> Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders from Will Offin, Sam Black, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Steph Blythe and Jordan Smith bringing up the beer. Round they come then. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. On the last lap already, it seems quick. From Will Offin, Simon Beanie, and Steph Blythe. Steph Blythe seems to be breaking in a new passenger, so uh, perhaps he's just cruising around to get him used to it first, eh? Get going a bit faster at the final runs. Round they come then, 24. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters take the chequered flag. From Will Offin and Sam Black, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister, and number 30, Steph Blythe. And Jordan Smith. That was a quick one. Right-hand side cars a win there for 24. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. Second place to 80, Will Offin and Sam Black. Third place to 76. And Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. And in fourth place was number 30, Steph Blythe and Jordan Smith. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.12 seconds. From the top, 24, 80, 76 and 30. 1 minute 20.12 
Here we go. Miles Simmons gets a whole shot. Miles Simmons gets down there first. Colin Blackwell on his outside and Paul Whiteland pushing through in third. It's going to be a tight one, this one. Look at them all coming around that corner together. Miles Simmons leads it from Colin Blackwell in second, then Paul Whiteland. And Mick Stace in fourth place. Fast stuff here at Frittenden. As we come around that turn. Oh, Simmons leading it. Colin Blackhorn and Carl Pugh in second. Paul Whiteland, Alan Elliott. Mick Stace and Kiz Ivy. But Miles Simmons. And Bradley Steer are right there on the front line. Look like they've gone a little bit wide. They've opened the door for Colin Blackwell, but it's not quite close enough to take the advantage. One more lap to go. Miles Simmons, Colin Blackburn, Paul Whiteland. Paul Whiteland within striking distance, but I think the winner's sort of uh, sorted at this point. Round the last turn for the last time. Miles Simmons and Bradley Steer gunning it to that chequered flag. Second place to Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. Third place to Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. Followed home by number 18, Mick Stace and Kiz Ivy. Race 11, race 11, the right-hand side cars. A win there for number 9, Miles Simmons and Bradley Steer. In second place, number 25, Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. In third place, number 92, Paul Whiteland and Alan Elliott. And in fourth place, number 18, Mick Stace and Kiz Ivy. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.23 seconds. From the top, 9, 25, 92, 18, 1 minute 20.23. That appears to be one round sorted. As we move into leg 2, starting with the 250cc solos. Two fifty cc solos, here we go, underway for leg two. Charlie Brooks had a win the first time and Charlie Brooks just about aims into that first turn first. Tim Gregg in tight pursuit in second place. Crystal in third. Russell Little in fourth. All go down the back straight. Charlie Brooks certainly got that motor wound up and he's uh, on his way. It's Charlie Brooks from Tim Gregg. From Chris Still, Russell Little, Nick Irwin. And number 27, Martin Hollingsby Perk and Jake Gearing bringing up the rear. Charlie Brooks now, high, wide and handsome, going for it here at Frittenden. Or at the GTSA at Frittenden. Super stuff here from the 250cc solo boys. The only real battle looks like it could come up is Russell Little versus Chris Still down there in the midfield. But Charlie Wilkes looking every inch the champion here with one lap to go. From Tim Tink, 10, Tim Gregg in second. Then Chris Still and Russell Little, followed by Nick Irwin. Followed by 27, Martin Hollingsby Parrot. And 23, Jake Gearing. Charlie Brooks takes the checkered flag. Two rides, two wins for him. Second place, number 10, Tim Gregg. Oh, somebody's gone a bit wide and wonky. Oh, it's Nick Irwin. There goes uh, Chris Still, Russell Little, Nick Irwin. And Martin Hollingsby Pert. Official result in a moment. Race 12 for 250cc solos, a win there for number 16, Charlie Wilkes. Second place, number 10, Tim Gregg. Third place was 82, Chris Still. Fourth place, 91, Russell Little. Fifth place, number 32, Nick Irwin. Sixth place, number 27, Martin Hollingsby Pert. And seventh place, number 23, Jake Gearing. The winner's time was 1 minute 29.47. From the top, 16, 10, 82, 91, 32, 27, 
Off we go then. Flat out there on the first straight. 26, Mark Giles leads from 19, Dave Mears. Dave Mears sneaking a wheel in front. It's tight stuff on the front line there as those two go wheel to wheel down the back straight. Good ride in there. Like a good best pairs team, wouldn't they? Mark Giles just got the advantage of Dave Mears seems to have taken it from him on that inside line. Mark Giles fights back. Mark Giles cuts up on the inside. Not quite enough to do it this time, but he follows Dave Mears down the straight and he gets ready into the entrance of the next corner. They're side by side and going for it. Here at Dig Dog Lane. Flat out they come down this straight now. Dave Mears just got a few yards advantage over Mark Giles. From Max Pankhurst in third. Dave Mears powering on ahead of Mark Charles. We've got Brian Cornelius in fourth and Barry Coates in fifth. Action stations. Here they come for the last lap flag. Dave Mears. From Mark Giles. Got 28, Max Bankhurst. And 48, Brian Cornelius. And 77, Barry Coates. Last turn for the last time. The chequered flag is up and waiting for Dave Mears. Number 19 takes the win. From Mark Giles in second. All point scoring races, I believe. Winner on points at the end. Max Pankhurst, Brian Cornelius and Barry Coates. 350cc solos, race 13, always nice to get that one out of the way without any problems, and a win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second place was 26, Mark Giles, and third place was 28, Max Pankhurst. Fourth place was 48, Brian Cornelius, and fifth place was 77, Barry Coates. The winner's time was 1 minute 27.88 seconds. From the top, 19, 26, 28, 48, 77, 1 minute 27.88 Race 14 then, the left-hand side cars again, Will Penfold and Ricky Pay, Tommy Penfold, Carl Bell, Tony Penfold, Tony Penfold, Carl Bell, Rob Heath, Carl Fish, George Penfold, Chris Hawkins, Jim Butcher, Michael Chittenden, and Tommy Penfold, Danny Woodbridge. Waiting for one more outfit to come into line. Looks like we've got all six going in this one. Riders on the start line. Under starters orders. All away. And red flags up. Now the red flag's down. Oh well, there we are then. All back to the start line and do it again. On the line again then. Under starters orders. And away we go. Clean break this time. Down to the first straight, into the first turn, we have Will Penfold and Ricky Pay from George Penfold and Chris Hawkins. Will Penfold cutting a very tight line, George trying to go around the outside, George takes it a little bit too wide. Rob Heath and Carl Fish retire to the centre green. Will Penfold, Ricky Pay then. Starting to stamp the authority in this one. Look at Jim Butcher coming up on the inside of George Penfold. It's all tight stuff on the front line, you know. Will Penfold, Ricky Pay, Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden. George Penfold seems to have taken a, a, a step backwards. He goes down to fourth. Tommy's in trouble. Tommy just about gets it anchored up at the bottom of the corner there. Quite sure what happened to him, but it stops. Round they come then. 22, Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Not knowing what's going on behind him. 
neither should he worry as he put, continues the merry way round on the front line from Jim Butcher and Michael Chitman in second. And Tony Van Vold and Carl Bell in third. And the last lap flag for Will Penfold and Ricky Bay from 93. Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden. And 25, Tony Penfold and Carl Bell. George Penfold, Chris Hawkins bringing up the rear. Oh, the Thomas, uh, Tony's packed up now. Three to finish then, 22. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay take the win from 93. Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden and one, two, four, George Benfold and Dan Woodbridge. Race 14, left hand side cars, a win there for 22, Will Benfold and Ricky Pay. Their second win of the afternoon. In second place was number 93. That's Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden. And in third place was one, two, four, George Benfold and Chris Hawkins. No other finishers. The winner's time was one minute, 20, uh, one minute, 39.71 seconds. 1 minute, 39.71 seconds. From the top, 22, 93, and 1, 2, 4. No other finishers. The rest of the left-hand side cars go now. And I'm afraid we don't have number 7, Erwin and Alex Bowman. They are non-starters this afternoon. But we've got Gary Potter and William Naden, Martin, Martin Cuff, Colin Clark, Richard Webb, Jake Pope, and Darren Morris, Craig Scott. Off we go then, left hand side cars, race 15. Gary Potter and William Naden get down to the first turn first. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark put themselves in an overtaking manoeuvre around the outside. And they get away with it, they've gone for it, they're going down the back straight. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. From, uh, if I can say it, Gary Potter and William Naden. And Richard Webb and Jake Pope. And Darren Morris, Craig Scott this time, bringing up the rear. They won the other one. Now they're fighting at the back. On we go. Onwards and upwards, as they say. And it's Martin Cuff, Colin Clark, got all the clear track in front of them. Unlikely to put a foot wrong now. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. From Gary Potter, William Naden. Richard Webb, Jake Pope. Now we're on as Craig Scott. It looks like he's gaining just a yard or two on uh, Gary Potter there. Not sure it's going to be enough by the time they get to the chequered flag. The last lap flag's out. Round to come, Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. From 96. Gary Potter and William Naden. And Richard Webb. Jake Pope. On the Aprilia. In third. Gary Potter seems to have got a little bit more steam up as he's put another yard or two in between them, but Richard Webb's a bit quicker on the corners. There goes the chequered flag, one, two, eight. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark take the win from Gary Potter, William Naden, um, Richard Webb and Jake Pope, and Darren Morris, Craig Scott, bringing up the rear. Race 15, the left-hand side cars, a win there for one, two, eight. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark in second place was 96. Gary Potter and William Naden. In third place was 01, Richard Webb and Jake Pope. And in fourth place, number four, Darren Morris and Craig Scott. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 38.41 seconds. From the top, 128, 96, 01, 4. 1 minute 38.41 seconds. Happy 65th birthday to an all-round good guy who now gives up his time to Marshall and who has helped, from, helped many riders over the years. Happy birthday, Alan Catcher. Out there today, waving the flag. Happy 65th birthday. What better place to be on your birthday than the grass track? Race 16, the 500cc solos.
Under Sanders orders then. Rooms rise. Tapes fly and off we go. Down the first straight. Big wheelies from Sam. Round the turn they go. Must have been I was watching that man with that wheelie at the back rather than the watch the man on the front. But we are absolutely flying here. Great stuff. Alex Davis leading. From Harlan Cook in second, Charlie Saunders in third, Martin Surgeon in fourth, Adam Filmer, then James Peters, Warren Atkinson, Jay Vernon, and Mr. Paul Hollingsby Pert. After that, well, he could control it, all those uncontrollable wheelie. Round they come. 297, Alex Davis. Showing he means business here at the South Eastern Centre Championships this afternoon. He won his previous race and he's out in front in this one. He's going for gold. Round the corner he comes in. Bit of a leg trail in old fashioned style there, but it's doing him well. From Harlan Cook, then Charlie Saunders, then Martin Sturgeon, and Adam Filmer, and James Peters, Warren Atkinson, and Paul Hollingsby Pert. With Jim Vernon bringing up the rear. There's the checkered flag then, 297. Alex Davis takes it from Harlan Cook and Charlie Saunders in very close attendance. Over to a gap back, and we have Martin Surgeon. Ashford Ladd, Adam Filmer. Then James Peters. Warren Atkinson. Paul Hollingsby Pert. I think that's Jim Vernon bringing up the rear. 500cc solos, 500cc solos. Race 16 in your programme, a win for 297, Alex Davis. In second place, it was number 7, Harlan Cook. In third place was number 25, Charlie Saunders. In third place, sorry, third place was 25, Charlie Saunders. Fourth place was 15, Martin Sturgeon. Fifth place was 24, Adam Filmer. Sixth place was 45, James Peters. Seventh place was 212. Warren Atkinson, 8th was 127, Paul Hollingsby Pert, and in ninth place was 62, Jim Vernon. No other finishes, the winner's time, 122.97. 297, 7, 25, 15, 24, 45, 212, 127, 62. 1 minute, 22.97. Away we go then. Race 17 in your programme. Bob Dolman gets the whole shot. Phil Kenman goes with him. Bob Dolman now got quite a good lead up in the first turn. Powers there in the back straight from Phil Kenman. Those two clear of the rest of the field. Bob Dolman's going for it. From Phil Kenman in second. Then it's Tim Mount in third. One four seven. I think that's Darren Keys. I'll suffer the wrath if I'm wrong. Round they come. Sixteen. Bob Dolman. At half distance. Well clear of Phil Kenman in second, or is well clear of Tim Mount. There's Darren Keys and it's Gordon Walker. And it's one one one. Simon Garside. bringing up the rear. Last lap flag is out. 16, Bob Dolman. From Phil Kinman. From Tim Mount. And 147. 84. Bringing up the rear, 297. Second flag is out. Bob Dolman. Cruises to another victory. From Phil Kinman in second place, scoring some very valuable points there. And it's 17 Tim Mount, 84 Gordon Walker, 147 Darrell Keyes. Bringing up the rear was 257. B Page. Official result in a moment. Race 17, the official result was a win for number 16, Bob Dolman. Second place was number 11, Phil Kinman. In third place it was number 17, Tim Mount. And in fourth place, 84, Gordon Walker. In fifth place was 147, Darrell Keyes. 
and in sixth place was 111 Simon Garside, and in seventh place was 257 B Page. No other finishers. The winner's time, 1 minute 32.58. From the top, 16, 11, 17, 84, 147, 111, 257. No other finishers, 1 minute 32.58. Off we go then down the straight and Stevie King picks it up on the first turn from Lee Oakley in second place. Lee Oakley looks like he's showed his nose. Oh, down goes some of us. Oh, Robin Pilcher's gone down on that turn. And not very often you see Robin Pilcher go down. Round the come then. 66, Stevie Green going for it. Dave Veers in second, Lee Oakley in third. Then Nigel Coates, then Brian Cornelius. Then Adrian Hart. And you can't keep a good man down for long, can you? Robin Porcher bringing up the rear. After slipping off on that turn. On that turn. Round they come then. At half distance we have Stevie King going for it with uh, 19 Dave Mears in hot pursuit. Then Lee Oakley. Nigel Coates. Brian Cornelius. Adrian Hart. And Robin Pilcher. see the last lap flag up and here they come 66 Stevie Green from 19 Dave Mears from 12 Lee Oakley from 7 Nigel Coates 48 Brian Cornelius 174 Robin Pilcher and number 2 Adrian Hart I wonder what Robin Pilcher is if he catches up with Brian Cornelius because he's going fast 66 Stevie Green takes the win from 19 Dave Mears Robin Pilcher makes his move on Brian Cornelius on the last turn. Goes right around the outside. Third place, Nigel Coates. Followed over by Robin Pilcher, Brian Cornelius. And Adrian Harden. Rev Rice, here we go. Right hand side cars underway. Race 19. Looks like Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh got the whole shot. They drift a little wide, but uh, Rob Wilson's not able to make any advantage on it. And uh, Alan, uh, Paul Wilder and Alan Elliott are right there on the tail of Rob Wilson. Terry Saunters. Uh, it's all go here at the South Eastern Centre Championships, and a man from Skegness is leading the race. 25. Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. From Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders, and Paul Whitelam, Alan Elliott, Simon Beanie, and Gareth Bemister. In hot pursuit in fourth. All go here at Frittenden. The last lap flag is out. Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh still holding on to it. From Rob Wilson, Terry Saunders in second. Then Paul Whitelam, Alan Elliott, and uh, Simon Beanie, Gareth Bemister. And they come then, the chequered flag is out. 25. Colin Blackwell and Carl Pugh take the win from Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters, Paul Wyndham, Alan Elliott, and Simon Beanie, Gareth Bemister. Official result in a moment. Race 19, the right hand side cars. Race 19, the right hand side cars. A win there for 25. Colin Blackwell and Carl Pugh. In second place, number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. In third place, number 92, Paul White and Alan Elliott. And fourth place, 76, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. Now with the finishers, the winner's time was 1 minute 19.06 seconds. From the top, 25, 24, 92, 76. 1 minute 19.06. Followed with more right-hand sidecars with Steph Blythe and uh, Jordan Smith. We're off in Sam Black. Mixed ace Kiz Ivy racing 18, not 16. Program error there. No Mark, uh, Matt Fumarola and no Gary Shearer. But number nine, Miles Simmons and Bradley Steer in the mix. And it's going to be another good one. Number 30, Steph Blythe and Jordan Smith.
off we go then down the back straight Miles Simmons Bradley Steer leading this one we'll off it in second Sam Black and Steph Blythe and Jordan Smith and Mick Stace and Kiss Ivy bringing up the rear a little bit of dust arising from the rear wheels of these machines wide line for Miles Simmons paid off and keeps Will Offen at bay and Steph Blythe in third and Mick Stace in fourth And the race continues, those places remaining unchanged and uh, all spaced nicely apart, aren't they? Round they come then, the last lap flag for Miles Simmons and Bradley Steer. Leading the way on the last lap, into the last turn for the last time. Don't forget they're racing for the mixed Steer Memorial Trophy here this afternoon in the right hand side cars. And there he goes, Miles Simmons from Nick Owen, Steph Blythe and Mick Stace. Race 20, the right-hand side cars, a win there for number 9, Miles Simmons and Bradley Steer. Second place, number 80, Will Offin and Sam Black. In third place was number 30, Steph Blythe and Jordan Smith. And in fourth place was 18, Mick Stace and Kiss Ivy. No other finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 19.36 seconds. From the top, 9, 80, 30. 18, 1 minute 19.36. Revs rising under starters' orders. Somebody didn't make it to the line, we're away. Charlie Brooks again gets the whole shot, goes into the first turn first. Looks like Jim Vernon didn't make it off the line. He wouldn't do it, wouldn't it anyway, was he? Never mind, let's con concentrate on what he's happening, not guess who, was, who that was that went back to the pits. Round they come then, Charlie Brooks showing him a clean pair of wheels again as he powers down this straight. From number 10, Tim Gregg again in second place. Then Russell Little, Nick Irwin and Chris Still all having a private battle there. And Paul Hollingsby Pert bringing up the rear. Actually it was Martin Hollingsby Pert bringing up the rear. Round they come. Going for it. Charlie Brooks. From Tim Gregg. Russell Little just holding on to the advantage there. But uh, Nick Irwin trying to go around the outside. Got a good wide line around the outside there. And then it's Chris Still. And then Martin Hollingsby Pert. Last lap flag for Charlie Brooks. From Tim Gregg. Russell Little. Nick Irwin. And Chris Still. Again, Nick Irwin tries to go around the outside. He comes up alongside Russell Little. There's the chequered flag for Charlie Brooks. Let's see what's happening in the midfield here. And uh, now Tim Gregg comes home in second, Russell Little in third, then 82 Chris Still and Nick Irwin. Again tried the wide line but didn't that time get the advantage. And bringing up the rear is Martin Hollingsby Pert. There we are. Race 21, the 250cc solo was a win there again for number 16, Charlie Brooks. In second place was number 10, Tim Gregg. And in third place was 91, Russell Little. In fourth place was number 82, Chris Still. Fifth place, 32, Nick Irwin. And sixth place, number 27, Martin Hollingsby Pert. No other finishers. The winner's time, 1 minute 27.77. Away we go then, the 350ccs are in motion. And this time Mark Charles gets to the first turn first, from Dave Mears in second place. And Barry Coates and Brian Cornelius. Mark Charles holding on to a slender advantage from Dave Mears. Dave Mears trying the inside line. 
following him home at the moment. Two more laps to go, and it's uh, Mark Giles from Dave Mears. Barry Coates and Brian Cornelius. Dave Mears looking menacing, like he's going to come through on the inside at any moment. Mark Giles leaves him enough room to do so. Around they come then. That looks like half distance. And Dave Mears sneaks up on the inside of Mark Giles and takes the lead. Mark Giles fights back. Third place is Barry Coates, and in fourth place, Brian Cornelius. Look at those two at it, and Mark Giles goes for front again. Dave Mears powering on on the inside. It's all tight stuff here. One more lap to go. It's Dave Mears. Sights up to go around the outside. Cuts back for an inside line. Comes up alongside Mark Giles, and through he goes on the entrance of that corner. Has uh, Mark Giles got an answer to it? Dave Mears goes a bit wide, Mark Giles is right there on the inside, it's going to be a tight finish here, who's going to get it? Who got that, Janet? So that's race 22 then, the one we've just seen, race 22 to 350cc solos was a win for number 19, Dave Mears. Second place was number 26, Mark Giles. Third place was 77, Barry Coates. And fourth place was 48, Brian Cornelius. The winner's time was 1 minute 27.35 seconds, the tightest finish so far of the afternoon. If I can do this before the uh, sidecars get underway, somebody said I didn't give out race 18. Race 18, if you want to go back in your programme. Race 18, did I miss it? If, none of, if nobody got it, I must have missed it. Race 18 was a win for 66, Stevie Green. Second place was number 19, Dave Mears. Third place was number 12, Lee Oakley. Fourth place was number 7, Nigel Coates. Fifth place was 174, Robin Pilcher. Sixth place was 48, Brian Cornelius. And seventh place was number 2, Adrian Harden. The winner's time was 1 minute 29.15 seconds. Race 18 again, 66, 19, 12, 7, 174, 48, and two. One minute twenty nine point one five seconds. I think I stopped and uh, spoke to the people in the commentary box about Robin Pilcher being able to get up off the floor and still finish in fifth place in that race. And I probably led myself into race nineteen from there. So I'm sorry about that, but you've got it now, race eighteen. We go to race twenty three, the left hand side cars and they're lining up nicely on the start line for us now. Number one or O one, Richard Webb and Jake Pope. 93, Jim Butcher, Michael Chittenden. 22, Will Penfold, Ricky Pay. 1, 2, 4, George Penfold and Chris Hawkins. And 4, Darren Morris, Craig Scott. Here we go. Down to the first turn. And the man with the whole shot is 22, Will Penfold. And Ricky Pay. Somebody left up on the start line, but the race is continuing without them. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Holding on to it, but Jim Butcher and Michael Chittenden are right there in hot pursuit, waiting for a mistake, and they'll be through. Then four, Darren Morris and Craig Scott. Round they come then. Tight lines for Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Showing a clean pair of heels to the opposition. From 93, Jim Butcher, Michael Chittenden, and Darren Morris, Craig Scott, bringing up the rear in third. Checkered, uh, sorry, the last lap flag being made ready. As Will Penfold comes around the pits turn. Got it all his own way at the moment. Just that one lap to go. With Jim Butcher in second, Darren Morris in third. Hot stuff here at Frittenden. In our 36 race South Eastern Centre Championship program. Ernie Penfold trophy up for grabs for the left hand side cars. That's 22, Will Penfold. And Ricky Pay taking the chequered flag from Jim Butcher, Michael Chittenden, Darren Morris, and Craig Scott. Race 23, left hand side cars, a win for 22. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Second place to 93, Jim Butcher and uh, Michael Chittenden. 
And in third place was number four. Darren Morris and Craig Scott. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 38.49. From the top. 22, 93 and 4. 1 minute 38.49. Left hand side cars, race 24. Gary Potter and William Naden. Martin Cuff, Colin Clark. No Rob Heath and Carl Fish. They've, uh, Carl Fish, they've, they've, they've retired for the afternoon. And we've got one other one missing. But 96, Gary Potter gets down to the first turn first with Martin Cuff and Colin Clark in hot pursuit. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark trying to go in the outside. And they successfully do so and get their wheels in front of Gary Potter and William Naden. And it's Tommy Penfold and Dan Woodbridge in third. One to eight, Martin Cuff. Colin Clark leading. From Gary Potter and William Naden. And Tommy Penfold. Dan Woodbridge bringing up the rear. Martin Coff and Colin Clark on the 500cc, or it's, a, probably, it's probably about 600cc single cylinder speedway motor, powering the, uh, the outfit that's in the lead. The other two machines are 1000cc four cylinder engines. But the little single's doing good here, with one more lap to go. From Gary Potter and William Naden in second. Tommy Penfold, Dan Woodbridge, third. Round the last turn then for the last time, the check and flag is up. Martin Cuff, Colin, Martin Cuff, Colin Clark, another win here at Frittenden from 96. Gary Potter and William Naden. Tommy Penfold, Dan Woodbridge, bringing up the rear. Race 24, the left hand side cars was a win there for 128. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. Second place, number 96. Gary Potter and William Naden. In third place was 125. Tommy Penfold and Dan Woodbridge. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 39.16. From the top, 128, 96, 125. 1 minute 39.16 seconds. We move on to the 500cc solos. Barry Coates, Charlie Saunders, Martin Sturge, and Paul Hollingsby Pert, Adam Filmer. James Peters, Harland Cook, Warren Atkinson, Jim Vernon, and Alex Davies. Alex Davies going extremely well this afternoon. I believe he's had two rides and two wins. Let's see what he can do in this one.